Design, it was designed to be the headquarters of Old Mutual and a lot of it references where they had their branches. But this was their Southern African headquarters and they wanted to show off. And being about assurance and insurance, it was looking into the future. And so they wanted the very latest style and the windows are triangular to try and get the light and also against the, the wind and it was really high tech at the time, so it had the fastest elevators, had special lights and vacuum cleaning. Um, and then about 15 years ago, it was converted into flats and there are quite a few Airbnbs in there. But it's great getting life back into the city. So there, there would have been an a counter similar to that on, on that side. And you can just see um, on the balcony there are, what do you call them, emblems of, of the various wow. provinces. see the signature or the name of the artist. This one by an artist called Creative Yeti, who comes from Durban. His name is um, Dylan Smith. Many of the artists have a second name, a pseudonym, a street name, which comes from the days when all street art originally was by definition underground, even illegal, and was done in the darkness of night. So this is by a Johannesburg artist called Stefan Smith, although he recently relocated to Cape Town. And um, it was done in 2020 when the theme of the International Public Art Festival was digitalization. So there were actually two people in the original photograph. Maybe there wasn't enough space. Maybe the artist wanted to focus on the man of the moment.
Sir Silas Motze, who did this enormous work covering this massive surface and the car and the chimney, was definitely one of the more interactive and charismatic artists we got to meet during the festival this year. In fact, Silas had so much time to chat to everybody who was coming around that I sometimes wondered how he got any work done on his art, but he did. 